Hey, my friends, Chris Reese here. I want to talk to you today about which Bible character reflects how you approach your purpose. Have you ever wondered what God wants you to do with your life? Too often we get caught up in the demands of life and the expectations of others and we fall short of our purpose. If that's you, I want to remind you that you were created for a unique purpose. Yes, you. Every one of us who is alive today, just as everyone whom we read about in the Bible, was put here to play a key role in the world. Look, you may read the Bible and think, those people were special. Well, they were, but so are you. They all had their share of obstacles to overcome because no one is immune to life's challenges and no one gets a free ride. Moses was no stranger to tough times. Abraham took a few wrong turns and King David, he certainly had his share of stumbles. Everyone mentioned in the Bible has one thing in common with each other and with you too. They had a God-given purpose that they were destined to fulfill. And I'm sure many of the people in the Bible felt clueless from time to time, but they embraced these three factors. Their strengths. God has gifted you very uniquely. The strengths he has given you are no accident, and they are not there by your doing. Stop downplaying what comes naturally to you and start embracing that God will use that strength for your good and for his glory. The next, their circumstances. There's a saying that I love. Circumstances don't make a man, they reveal him. God has you where you are for a reason. Stop thinking that everything needs to be perfect in order for you to fulfill your God-given purpose. If Jesus can begin his life in a stinky manger, you can be content with where God has you. The next, they embrace their next step. Most people become paralyzed by not knowing what to do to fulfill their God-given purpose. That's because they're trying to look at the big picture and get everything all figured out. Look, if you're anything like me, God can't trust you with the big picture because you'll just mess it up. Instead, he trusts us with just the next step. And you already know your next step, so start walking. Rarely does God clunk us over the head and reveal our entire life purpose in one beautiful vision. Instead, he invites us to go on a journey. And I love the way Proverbs 25, 2 puts it. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. It is the glory of kings to search it out. So are you ready to go on a search? Your purpose is worth looking for. I want to encourage you to click down below this video and take our free quiz to tell which Bible character reflects how you approach your purpose. This quiz isn't just fun. The results will tell you exactly which Bible character you resemble, where you are on your journey, what your strengths may be, what to watch out for, and how to move forward. So go ahead and click down below this video to get started on discovering what God wants you to do with your life. Until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God.